Okay. Part of exile time again. And... I'm gonna go over how to get uh, 24 challenges in this video. First of all, we're I, I chose to play a summoner, which means every time you log in, your specters are present. I have them here, right? Spectre. Gem is level 20. It has meat shield, summon carrying golem. Uh, I, I loosely followed this build. It's no longer in the... Well, I mean, it's bumped down in the forum. You know, we go to forum, which builds, and I highly suggest you follow one of these. Um, which one was it? Something, something, zombie monster. Yeah, for example, this one. Because it's better explained that the, than you know than, than this one. I mean, if you read the introduction or not not introduction, but the um, you know you can run all mods except physical reflect. I mean, it should have been in the con section. I mean, all these losses. Well, I don't know, something about it doesn't doesn't really compare. I tried to go, um, I have an Astromantis, but I'd, I would need to switch out a bit of the gear because I'm missing a dexterity. Uh, right, so the tree, tree is like this. I mean, I, I definitely didn't, didn't go one to one. I mean, I took all these, all of, I mean, I was, yeah, seems like I took, took pretty much everything. I grabbed more of the life wheel and I, you know, messed around a bit, I think. No, he grabbed this. All oh, right, I skipped this one, but it doesn't give strength. Anyway, what else? Oh uh, no, I didn't skip it. Must must be a different character. Right, he transforms efficient training. He transforms these intelligences to strength. I passed through these intelligences. I thought maybe grabbing this. When I but that's not important. What's important is you go to this menu button. You go to somewhere. Challenges, achievements. And the hotkey is H. And you go to your challenges and you, as you can see, at 24 challenges you get a blight portal effect. And uh, basically it looks like this. You know, woo. Yeah, so basically, I go to my desecrate. You know, summon some corpses. And uh, this is the carnage ch chieftain. That's what you need to summon. The build. I, I read this build while this, this section wasn't updated. But, oh well, now it is. Carnage chieftains. In Act 7 Ashenfield. Yeah, but basically you go here, you... I need more mana. You, all right, you cancel the curse, which is not in the build. All right, use the mana flask to top it up. You know, hold the zombies button. I can go up to 12, unfortunately. I right, put the curse back and summon the carrion golem. That's how I've been playing, I can do... Well, I can even de do tier 16 content, actually. Have some guardian maps here. And I have, you know, self-farmed some of the fragments. Two chimeras. And on my atlas. 
I just need to spread the influence to red maps and then finally to the middle of Atlas and then I can face Uber Elder. I haven't done that as you can see Lure the Elder. <coughs> but I have 24 challenges and let's go over it. Um, <coughs> if you go to Reddit, now there's a Blight League challenges analysis. But I, I don't find it very useful in many places. So let's go over what I did, you know, identify rare items. That's like, it will complete this one. Well, automatically, basically, it's like, no, no big thing. These challenges are pretty basic as well. Complete the quest, you know, you just <coughs> complete the side, side missions, basically, side quest. Act bosses, this like, you complete act 5, you will complete this, you know, challenge on its own. And uh, the other one is finishing act 10. That goes without saying, it can be done easily with <coughs> minions. Vendor recipes, this will be a bit, uh, bit more tricky because <coughs> for this, um, for example, for this challenge, you need to save a quicksilver flask somewhere and then sell it to it should be here vendor vendor <coughs> yeah you need like the boots an augmentation orb and a quicksilver flask so you sell them all together and you you can complete the challenge whatever alchemy orb is you save up some um, unique items and they very often very often they sell for Let me alchemy tell you. Lo a lot of alchemy shards and you see i already you know completed this challenge challenge it will, Fate it will come you. very quickly you know i just need a bit of mapping time and whatever um <clears throat> what else rogue exiles it's just random i mean you just need to go in one of these mods, either warbands or one of these, one of them spawns, I think, um, uh, an extra rogue exile or just the modifier on the, <clears throat> or just do some Zana Atlas missions, you know, where the reward, uh, where the mission is kill some rogue exile. All right, <clears throat> but you know it shouldn't be too hard. You'll get it in time because I got it. <laughs> And if I got it, you can get it. Uh, craft modifiers, you just need... You just need to take, um, you know, as you loot the map, you pick up white item. And you just craft the, uh, the, the cheapest tr uh, thing. Um, where's the lower roll? It's just life roll? This is this one life roll, okay, whatever. But uh, the cheapest, you, you find the cheapest craft, for example, this one, to maximum mana. And you craft it on every, every, you know, base. Uh, I just crafted maximum life on, on the ring and amulet and whatever. And you will have that challenge in the bag. <coughs> Turn in divination cards, for example, this one, well, it can take a bit of grinding and maybe searching around, but, but basically there's a divination card sto that gives storm cloud <coughs> that bow, and it should be quite straightforward challenge, I think I have that bow somewhere, or did I sell it, or I have it here maybe. <clears throat> yeah, this divination card, I mean, you just pick up every divination card and you should be able to get this one and corrupted items should be easy. Currency is like uh, Emperor, Emperor's Luck will complete this challenge for you. So just basic, basic cards, right? You just turn, in for, turn them in for a reward. Divination card is this one. You know, if you find... Five gamblers, 
basically there's nothing much to talk about it's, it's an easy challenge right <clears throat> so for these challenges i paid somebody there's a glacier map it's a low tier map it's like low tier 3 or something uh, glacier glacier tier 5 whatever so this map um, basically what's happening is the boss is like a, a leaping goat right and and once he leaps a few times he becomes exhausted so you just it's just you know you can't do it with minions you need to unsummon everything because you will kill the boss before he can do it but basically <clears throat> you wait until he's exhausted and you kill it and it's an easy challenge cursed crypt uh, by at least two curses it's like it's just cursed crypt it's a it's a bad layout because it's a maze you know you run into dead ends but once you get to the boss you just need to <clears throat> either have one of the rings the other's damning uh, oh maybe I don't have it I, sh I should have it somewhere. Uh, well, crap. I think I looted it, but I put it somewhere, maybe here. Mm, no, I don't see it. But I definitely got it uh, somewhere. But basically, it's uh, like. It's an easy, easy way to complete this challenge. You put blasphemy, uh, gem, the red is damning. It's a cheap ring, like one chaos, and you can apply additional curse. So basically, you kill the boss while you have, while you're close to him, while he's affected by two curses. Nothing to mention. The map is bone, tier six map, bone crypt. So easy stuff. <coughs> well, you know, relatively a bit. You need a little bit of. Y your minions could kill the boss too quickly before you get in range, you know. But, you know, well, it's not too challenging. The cells map. I didn't do this myself. You, you gotta ask somebody who does chaos damage. I, I paid somebody f to do this challenge for me. Cells map is like. Tier 8 cells map. I don't remember what the boss looks like or whatever. Basically, it's doable, right? This one, I, I didn't even try, I just got it. Uh, I, I don't know how to complete it. You just take damage from the boss. But, uh, uh, before I even started going through the list, I already had the check mark on this map. And Haunted Mansion this time around is in Blight League Tier 5 map. Right, uh, why do I keep. Should we keep trying to go to the. What's it called? To the Reddit. Uh, this one is also easy. <coughs> Uh, and this might be a tricky one because if you try to do it wh when you're maxed out like this I did it in the leveling process or somewhere you know th it might be tricky because you need to um, allow some mobs to slip through but this one will be easy this one is is relatively easy you just get uh, anywhere it can be done in, in leveling as well you know, you just <coughs> need high DPS to deal with any mobs. Or, well, it's not like nothing much to write about. But it will auto-complete, like basically, like, without you even really trying. If you're, especially if you're playing like this minion build. You just stand near the pump and, and, and everything should just rip. Or you just go to a lower level zone and, you know. Annoying items, this will be a bit annoying. Like, uh, if you don't drop a blighted map, they can be 
can be quite expensive and rare. Um, blighted, let's see. No. Um. I don't know even how to search for a blighted map actually. <laughs> Maybe they added the filter. Bl oh yeah, blighted map, yes. Let's see. <coughs> oh, they're quite cheap now. So, but tier 10 uh, might be too hard. Uh, I completed my blighted map um, with a boss carry. And if you go to like, you know, epilogue, the Templar, or you enter, or you search for public parties from inside the map, you will you will see this selection and uh, like there's a boss killing or crafting service. There's another boss killer service. Uh, some of them might do um, what's called for you. This. <clears throat> carry but basically yes ju just get a blighted map on your on your thing somehow use the cheapest oil I have them here just use sepia oil and you know talk to Cassia God's anoint item put the map in put the oils in anoint it you know it will it will be easy uh, you can complete this one Yeah, well, yeah, just anointed, amulet, anointed ring. I anointed uh, this uh, for this challenge to complete mine. I, I anointed Arakutiki. I allocate agility and agility... Uh, let's see, agility just gives 30, 630. Oh. <laughs> it's that mode? Oh, okay, whatever. So basically it allocates agility. So nothing hard. This this might this is the hardest part of it. Black black unique. So there is this thing you go to game community wiki. You go to unique unique items or whatever. Uh or maybe just black unique, whatever. A black league, yeah, that's where I found it. Black league. So you have items. You have all these new items, but they're not black uh, items. So you, if you mouse over them, see the description here. This item can be anointed. So this is what you need to buy. So this item came out when the um, Blight League launch, but it's not a Blight, Blight Unique item. Uh, I, I know, it's confusing, but basically this one can be anointed, this one can be anointed, there's like three variants. And these two... This this chest piece, four guard, is very expensive. So I strongly um, advise you to... Four... I strongly advise you to... Do do it as the way I did. Um, just buy these gloves. Breath stealer. I paid the uh, 18 chaos for mine. Uh, don't use corrupted. I, I don't think you can anoint, uh, you know, modify corrupted items. So just uh, in the search results set. Um, Corrupted under miscellaneous, corrupted now, and now it's 14k, oh, 20 chaos, yeah. I bought mine for 18, then I sold them for 16 chaos, so I just spent 2 chaos on this challenge. Yeah, uh, well, quite straightforward stuff. I was at 23 challenges and then I just, you know, um, anointed this last item, whatever I spent some chaos just just to get to 24 challenges who cares uh, complete twin maps uh, this might be a bit hard 
because you, you need to get the maps you need to roll them twinned Welcome. there's a uh, prophecy that you can uh, activate it has a chance of spawning well basically you just spend time reading the modifiers on the maps I I didn't even try to to grind any of the gear uh, tiers I just ran my maps you know without even reading the modifiers obviously if you go into a, a tier hard tier map like I would say well basically any any red map yeah th tier 13 and up you might not be able to complete it if you if you roll the physical reflect because your zombies die almost instantly and for some reason Dread Banner is not activated Dread Banner actually it says um, when you place it nearby enemies have no uh, allies uh, right so it says they have a chance to impale enemies on hit but the uh, uh, minions don't hit so Gain 45 for seconds per stage on placing the banner. To one second to base placed banner duration per stage, and you can only gain stages if you when you impale an enemy here. See, and I have no idea how that guy. Oh man, afraid. See you soon. The nation barb. Why do you even bother? Uh, <clears throat> where was I? Right, so it never gives me fortify, but this guy in the for uh, in the in the what's called you can see. You can catch glimpses, see there, there, his minions are fortified. I don't know how, it doesn't work for me, my minions don't get fortified. Moving on. Uh, open blight chests, this will be a bit of a grind, especially the pustule ones. Pustule is like um, the one that gives you gems. It like, it, it has like a red and blue on it, it's like a circle hard to describe but it, it it spawns quite rarely so you'll need to do every cassia you meet just to grind it up and, and for some reason uh, I noticed that that the blights are very short sometimes for the majority of time especially after that one hotfix patch but um, <clears throat> yeah so uh, either it now de depends on the pack size, how big blight you're gonna get or whatever, but it, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna take take you quite a while. You know, you'll need to just every day just spend time opening maps, running them to Cassia, doing Cassia and hopefully you'll get it. But it'll be a bit of a grind. So complete un unidentified maps, this should be easy. I just like to go into every map unidentified because because of this uh, one is because of this uh, fortune not fortune but alternate of same tier you it's very easy to complete your atlas this way or use the horizon orb harbinger orbs are a bit more rare but uh, the orb of horizons drops quite frequently if you pick up items that is <laughs> yeah so i'm sitting at 29 and i've already spent like 50 of them or something yeah just it's very easy to complete the atlas now there's no and there's also the poe map live so if you if you're missing a guardian like for example let's see I want to get I think it was Phoenix yeah I'll exchange my chimera for the Phoenix you go to tier 16 
you have chimera see uh, somewhere you have and you want phoenix hit the start button and then you can hit this envelope button and you can get a string you know to paste uh, inside let's see will this guy respond or not i'd like to change my chimera for your phoenix all right try this on you just right click their name, visit their hideout, or use this blue button to teleport directly to them. You know, you just complete the free trade. And there you go. And uh, just go back and press stop. And you can uh, unselect everything with this thing. With this cross, it will unselect everything. Quite handy. So see? See how quick that was? I just got uh, myself a map. <laughs> uh, it's like the map exchange thing. It's very, very cool. But uh, moving on. Yeah, so this shouldn't be too hard. Uh, if you do a lot of Zana, you know, I have two red Zana missions. You know, you just talk to her, how are your maps? choose Atlas mission, put in your map. And they, the map will open on, uh, over your map device. Uh, but basically, right, where was I? Moving on. Uh, achieve ascension. Straightforward. I mean, you just use decoy totem. Uh, Izaro hits hard. Sometimes it's hard to survive. But if you use a decoy totem, he will be distracted long enough or you use your minion wall in front of you you know it's 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 straightforward it's not easy of course but uh, i mean i can show you a run of 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 who i mean you can achieve it yourself or just buy a carry service like unique monsters this one you cannot control they're just random some of these probably spawn in the what's it called in only high tier maps like level 80 zone plus um, encounters yeah this one is easy see this one is a bit of a grind this one at least it's 50 so I mean I could have completed it with in time if I did this thing you know but it's quite straightforward as well Synthesis unique map. Th this, I got lucky, and uh, w while doing Zana, other people report that um, this one is quite frequent. So I mean, you, you just do every Zana you can. Every Atlas mission you you complete them, you know. And uh, when you're when you're logging off, when you're done for the day, always do a um, a Red Master mission so that the next daily that will accumulate will be of the highest tier i mean your build can handle it right and why would you spawn a a, a yellow uh, atlas mission you know the, the the daily missions that accumulate by default but they will only accumulate uh, according to the last map you completed with a master in it so sacrifice the masters you don't want like a quick einhar mission you know in the red maps I'm not sure if you even need to complete the mission, you just need to spawn it or I don't know. But it, it, it's doable, right? So, moving on. Yeah, so with this one I got lucky. Uh, build Blight Towers. You just build a, a tier 3 or tier, tier 4 version of every tower. It, it's doable, right? So straightforward. Just pick one tower and upgrade it to the maximum once you know in the next blight you pick another tower up upgrade to maximum it's like straightforward um, this one is it's doable I guess uh, no I mean you need to just grind for it right so you accumulate these fragments I, I skipped uh, Legion League, so I'm not sure what it does. It's like like a, a bridge stone, I guess. 
it opens a new area and you go in. But this build doesn't handle uh, Legion too well. I mean, maybe if you invest more, with, I mean, I'm sitting at level 20 gems and 20 quality, right? But I still struggle to clear some of the all missions, for example, you know, maybe I don't move too fast or the minions don't kill too fast. And uh, sometimes I fail uh, a very juicy, you know, blight. The minions can't kill stuff too fast, so, you know, it's a bit tough. You need some kind of different build. And actually, lifting nerd. Uh, let's see. Lifting. He posted the, uh, what's it called? Another. Was it this thing or next video? I think it was another. But yeah, he posted like, like this, this freezing pulse totems looks nice you just watch the video yourself right um it has some pretty cool builds that you could try and you know increase your farming thing like reach level 90 is like uh i'm 93 it just takes a bit of a grind but i completed it quite straightforwardly you you just want to go into high content and not die right so do whatever you you can to stay alive if, if you find you, a zone is too hard and you keep dying just don't don't go there you know because you lose experience very 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 fast if you die a lot so spend blight resources is like you need to just build towers and that's it you need to just keep going back and clicking that button you know when blight ends you can't can't spend your resources anymore so you have to this will be uh, challenging right you can't go afk you can't go whatever i mean minions already give you a semi afk playstyle but for this one you will need to babysit all the things and it's quite a lot you know it's 200,000 i spammed the minion tower you know, without even thinking, I just, while I was unlocking the Atlas or whatever, I just, you know, I talked to Cassie and activate Blight and whatever, and uh, I just, you know, minions block the monster path, so I was using them for that, but uh, it takes quite a lot of time to grind this up, but it's doable. Uh, blight oils to modify items, it's just... <clears throat> right so anything uh, beyond black oil I haven't dropped uh, for myself and even then the black oils are very uh, rare out of all all the blight things I've done I, I think I only uh, got three without trade right so self found I spent two on the what's called but that that's different thing uh, I spent them on the on the gloves to to get the enchantment <coughs> uh, to get the anoint items this this challenge. <sighs> twenty one. I listed it for twenty one because that's the um, the price of the divine orb. So either you keep the the tablet or you sell it for. You know, to, to a vendor, and you get a divine orb, you know, wh whichever suits you. So, <clears throat> like Legion encounters spend blight resources, this level complete these encounters. Um, I paid somebody for this challenge. Oh god. Right, I paid somebody for this tower map challenge. I have no idea how to do it, but with minions it's probably very hard. Um, this one I did myself, I didn't even, you know, minions did their thing. And somehow I never defeated any champions in the Lava Lake. Lava Lake is a T14 map. 
this here lava lake. Uh, this is done in hallowed ground, unique map. I don't have any to show you, but it looks like one of these here, hallowed ground. That's how it looks like. Um, <clears throat> malformation map. This one is a bit tricky as well. So, I mean, I had I had the the map set up, set aside for. I thought uh, maybe I, uh, I I would buy it, or maybe I removed it already. Ah, oh, right, I, I removed it. But basically, I took it out of the map stash, so I I didn't actually uh, by accident. I think it was tier thirteen. Malformation, or no? Oh, right, it's tier 12. Uh, tier 12. This one. Uh, oh, I mean, I have no idea what the bo boss looks like. Like, it's just piety. But what are the eye hatcheries? Well, whatever. I don't know. Uh, defeat Blight, l blight Lanes. Um, I, I think... I completed my uh, my eight lanes on the what's it called? Uh, uh, I my first uh, blight map. I you know I paid um, a boss carry service to to complete it for me. So no idea how much you could do it yourself. So, <clears throat> but it's doable. You know, blight blight map has like crazy amount of lanes I don't know maybe 15 maybe 16 maybe more <coughs> complete blighted maps like you get these bonuses by anointing by anointing the blight map with the correct oils I think that's how you get it it does, it doesn't roll with the what's it called Kills thousand monsters in his single rampage skill streak. So this this one could be hard because you need to get the rampage from somewhere. Then you need to go into um, a zone that has like a lot. No idea about the what's called, but Beachhead. For some reason, this map dropped for me twice. This is the beachhead map. <gasps> it's not too hard to complete. Uh, you don't need any special build for it or whatever. You can do it with minions. But yeah, uh, let's skip this for now. This one is doable, but it, it's a grind. Like, every map you open, you should, you know, talk to the master. Greetings. And get these numbers down. And hopefully complete the mission, not just start it and, and abandon it. You know. But it's it's a grind fest, right? Complete unique maps. It seems like you need to complete every map. I mean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh you can skip some of them. You need to only complete fifteen, but seems like Pretty much you need to complete every unique map you can. Care ballet? I mean, I, I have it in the stash. Or no, Maelstrom's Chaos. <coughs> <coughs> Listen, this Care Blade will fax them. Right, I don't have it. Right. Zahn sometimes opens it, and it should be doable. I mean, th this one is hard to get. Um, let's see, Hall of Grandmasters, you need special build to complete it. This one could be hard sometimes to could complete if you don't kill stuff too fast. It's it's a very short time. Timing. Not so sure about Dorian S. Mach Machinarium, but I think it's an expensive map as well. 
This one is quite straightforward. This one just takes a while to complete. Wingtar is a bit more dangerous, but it's doable. Putrid Cloister, I think it's doable. This one, Zanush, you know, if you go for the Zana missions, it should, you know, it's the first. Usually it's the first unique map you complete. I don't know why, but it just has a, a increased drop rate. Whatever, moving on. Uh, uh, this one is defeat be bestiary boss. I don't even remember how to how these how to open these. You just ki get kill a very specific red beast and then you use it in the menagerie and it will open portals. I think that's how it's completed. But basically, Chayula is oh man, it's a grind to to even get to him. But it's doable. Uh, this one like is random because it's a lich boss. I don't even know how you spawn him. I think like stygian hearts. Well, whatever. You'll need to complete encounters. IV. Let's see. Uh, what does the was it? No, VI. Encounters VI, like best here, but this part is best here, mechanic that introduced. To do this, you must buy any unique and then spawn in your blood out. Complete the fight, then you'll complete the. Uh, this risk requires. This dinosaur not that dangerous but you don't stand the tornadoes they hurt more than uh have no idea. Buy any cheap unique beast. Oh the beast then spawn it in your altar. Oh, unique beast. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, so the leash of lightless is a bustle leash that spawns from bustle depths with abyss encounters. Yeah, it's random. You require to kill it after two stygian hard spawns that can that can make it just do this challenge during its third. Okay. I didn't even know that you could kill the lich before two uh before the th the third phase because he always goes th through the phases oh well whatever mystery I have no idea how to complete this one I mean. Like, right, so I just randomly did all the mission. I got a tempest room, and then you go, you're gonna lower the boss life to call range in second phase wait for it to shoot out lightning and also your character stay under effect by the tempest then only kill it character to discharge at low level only tech because that lightning wave is really painful in second phase wait for it to shoot out and also your character stay under effect the tempest Lightning, of course. I, I don't know, somehow I did it. <laughs> All the stars lined and I just... whatever. Uh, like, complete blighted maps, this is very hard. Or, you know, 
Well, yeah, because you need to build and then you need to buy the maps if you don't, if you don't, if you're not lucky, you know, because they're very rare to drop. So basically you need to be very good at PoE. Complete that one. Mastermind. Shaper. This one is hard. <laughs> Well, not so much as hard, maybe, but just needs you need a lot of PoE knowledge and then uh, a lot of time investment. The entire quest line, I think, it means only defeat Uber Uber Elder. So it it, it involves just buying the map. Like you need to uh, complete all these maps of Shaper influence that is near the Elder influence. And then the influence will spread to center of Atlas, and then then you use the four fragments to get into the realm. And instead of the normal Shaper fight, you will have the Uber Elder fight. I think that's how it's done. I never done it myself. But right. Why do I keep going there? Endgame grinds. Spend Azerite complete maps. I <laughs> see. The only map I completed. Argus, Guardians, or Shaper, defeat the Brother. Oh man. Yeah, but that's how you get 24 challenges and something stuck. No idea why. Sometimes it gets stuck like this. Not here. Only here. Did I press something? Oh man, <laughs> well, if, if I restart the game it will go away, I don't know, it's first time I got this thing. All the alt tabbing must have, you know, messed something up. Thanks for watching, hope you can get your, your thing up. Basically, yeah, if you look at my gear. I bought the 5 link prophecy for this thing, and that's it. I'm mean, still using tabula. Multi strike, melee, physical brutality, feeding frenzy. And uh, empower dropped for me, so I leveled it from level 1 to level 2 to, to level 3 soon. And I spent 20 GCPs, gem cutter prisms, to get it to 20 quality. But yeah, this gear, like, this one gives you strength. If you put on the astrament, this is, I think, uh, yeah. It will, it's, it's doable to get to 1000 um, uh, strength. And as you can see, with at least 1000 strength, 2% of damage dealt by a ray zombie leash to you as life. I'm sitting at 5.7 life. Because I have no, this one does nothing. I have increased maximum life here. Um, this one is that one, and that's all. I have three jewels. Yeah, I, I I don't advise you to follow this guide. Just pick something else with zombies and skellies. You should be able to do the, all these challenges, get this portal effect. I mean, uh, where is it? Portals. Yeah. So you'll get this portal effect. And all happy grinding. <laughs> I think I covered them all. Defeat blight lanes. Yeah, I can't even scroll back. Nah, whatever. Thanks for watching.